welcome to your coffee cup reading plus tarot for the week ahead of December 26th. Happy birthday to all you Capricorns. And at the end of this video, I have a little birthday special for you. And that's why also including the tarot with the coffee cup reading this week. So let's get on to your reading. And these energies, like I said, could start anytime now and work into the next week. Hmm. Okay, so there is some worries coming up it's about either projects, you know, maybe even worries about the future. It's like starting off fresh. Um, there is some, for some, they're showing up a little bit of depression or just, you know, just being down. So worry, stress is showing up. Opportunities, though, are showing up here. What is it that you want is the question. You know, you're questioning some stuff. And... You know, starting, there's just a new beginning here. Starting up new. Some may be taking a risk in some areas, so that's what's showing up there. So there are opportunities, you know, to launch new projects or ideas. They could be work-related decisions, deciding on... You know, deciding on what or thinking what is best to do you're working towards your success though money worries are showing up for some it's like feeling you need more money in order to be able to move forward and launch new endeavors so there that's just showing up here they could be for some they could have been a little bit of hit uh, financial hit i mean who doesn't at this time of the year with all the holidays too so that's kind of showing up there Okay, you know, here are some of you are really keeping more to yourself, in, you know, into your deepest thoughts, getting you insight and clarity is what I'm seeing here and receiving some resources to aid you towards your goals. So there, there's money coming in or being able to um, get some insight and some resources to be able to aid you to some kind of goal or project or whatever it is that you need. So that's showing up there. Yeah, okay. Let me just see one more thing here. Okay, so here it is showing, um, you know, some of you really planning your next steps here. Um, visiting people, um, people visiting you, possibly getting some financial help from, um, someone close to you. That's another, um, uh, some of you may be getting and keeping more to yourself here. That's what's showing up here. A little bit of depression for some of you. Okay. Yeah, here, planning your next steps, question mark showing up. Planning your next steps towards your dreams, goals, or your journey to success. Knowing what other people think. You're doubting your own thoughts, though. But you'll be taking control over your own situation. So I see that really coming in, really taking control over your own situations and moving forward. So you're really climbing the ladder to some kind of your dreams or success and it's, some things are just still up in the air here so that's what's showing up in the the cup and let's see what the plate shows okay it's you know making making some important decisions some of you here is like fighting justice to help someone out um you know, just helping someone out, you know, maybe someone that needs help or the underdog, you know, finding some kind of justice for someone. Finding balance between doubts and fears is showing up here also. Some of you keeping silent about your endeavors and it is um, advised to keep it more to yourself here. 
Very business focused, some of you. Very business focused. You know, make sure that you check all your paperwork before you're signing anything. Check your bank statements, receipts for any errors. We are in Mercury Retrograde and it is showing up here. Just double check things. And money is coming in. It's coming in. Rewards and thoughts of relocation. And some of you know there's gonna just going to be a kind of switch of energy here too. So money is coming in. It's showing up here. That's looking good. So I'm going to pull now some tarot cards to add to the reading. Okay, so you got the full. This is really looking at what you're coming in with, what I look real in here at the foundation. So what the full here is saying, you know, this is like your solar new year. It's your birthday. So you're starting off fresh. Uh, for some, you're going to be taking a risk. This is also deciding which path to go forward. You want to, um, you, you're thirsty to go forward. You want to go to your dreams. So that's what showed up really for the foundation um, in your reading. So that really makes sense. And next card. And this is the card I really pull for your, for other people around you, career in that. And you got the five of pentacles here. And as we were seeing here on the other side, really it is um, correlating here saying, that you know having some of you may have had a financial hit but it could be that you know having doubts and um wanting to move forward in some areas or trying to find some funds or resources to able to move forward this is also saying you know have faith that things are going to be working out so there's a little bit of change in a little bit of worry in your career most likely that's what i'm feeling or in your financial situation but this is really saying you know with the full next to it too is like things are going to work out so have faith it will and the next card you got for your personal side, really, about you is, here you go. You got the three of um, of uh, rods. The three of wads, uh, rods is really, you know, some of you are really thinking of moving forward. You have the thoughts to move forward. You're on your path. You're on your path to success. Exactly what I'm feeling here. But you're still, you know, debating some stuff or you're having some doubts or you're working out with uh, working towards it. With um, this card here, what I'm feeling also is um what i want to say these are just um great ideas that are coming in and there is recognition and um rewards coming into the future that's what i'm feeling here with um that coming into your personal side and gaining great ideas and insight and then we have the um let me try to push, push that up the hermit here and the hermit is coming into your um matters of the heart area so we're talking about being more to yourself gaining some more insight um this is um to me hidden knowledge this is focusing on what it is what is it that you really want what is it that you want to incorporate this is him walking to his summit for some of you this is really you know keeping some stuff to yourself being more into your thoughts but coming with them some great ideas also um like it was showing here in the matters of the heart, visit some people, you know, um, you may get someone may mentor you, help you out. So that was showing up there too. And this showed up for what's coming in and you have the emperor, as we were saying, um, this is you taking control of your situations. You know, you have the power to do so you overcome the slack, you find a way um, you gain the knowledge or a mentor or someone comes in to help you possibly and you take control of your situation you're moving uh, forward and this is a very powerful card um, and to get into this position too so you're moving forward you're really walking into your success your goals your dreams whatever it is what it whatever it is that you want so with the emperor you're really getting you're getting there so i i like this and let's see what a special message is okay the wheel of fortune love it Definitely love it. So here you go. Um, definitely even with the plate, we saw things and shift of energy. So here we got the Wheel of Fortune. This is money coming in. This is um, a turn of events coming in. Things going into your favor. When you got the Emperor here, um, and this is, look what's behind you, the Five of Pentacles. So this is money coming in. This is uh, your fortune getting better. This is um, success turning into your favor. So this is a really good card to go, to, to have. And these are, you know, this is a major arcana here. So 
there are some changes going in. You're starting off with a whole brand new solar year and look where you're coming to. So this was really good. And let's see what the underlining energy is. I always do like to check that. And the underlining energy, okay, is the nine of swords. So, you know, we did see in the coffee cup that it showed some of you could be depressed, um, worries. But really, what I'm feeling here, there's really nothing to worry about. I mean, yes, we all worry in that, but you're really, um, it's really almost nothing. And that's what the Nine of Swords always says anyway. It's like losing sleep over and stressing over things that one, if you don't have any control over, you've got to let it go with the flow. Two, here we're showing things are just going to work themselves out. So really, this is not helping you at all. You want to get rid of the stress. You want to get rid of the worries. You're starting off a whole new solar year. Have faith things are going to work out. You got a turn of events coming in here. The Wheel of Fortune. You got the Emperor. You got a beautiful um, spread here for this week coming up. So um, Capricorn, that was your birthday. Um, I'm sorry. That was your week ahead reading for the week of December 26th. And um, anyone who wishes... Uh, anyone... What's wrong with me? Happy holidays to all also. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa to all. And of course, for your next reading, catch you back here next week. But um, I want to wish you all a happy birthday and stay tuned after this uh, video. It's right after this following is a little birthday special for you guys also. Um, you know, your birthday traits and stuff like that. So I, I included the tarot just as a birthday treat for you guys too. But I do have that if you... Some people do order um, coffee cup reading with tarot also. Anyway, I hope you have a fabulous birthday month, fabulous holidays, and catch you back next week for your next coffee cup reading. Until then, bye. Well, happy birthday, Capricorn. I hope you have a wonderful birthday month. Um, I love Capricorns. They have some of the greatest, greatest strengths. Anyway, you guys have ruled by the, by Saturn, as you know. Your symbol is the goat. Uh, your color is brown, dark brown. Um, and metal was, ooh, I wrote it down somewhere. I forgot, sorry. Lead, it was lead, yeah. Your gemstone is garnet. Anyway, um, what I really love about Capricorns, and basically they have really strong personality traits, so... Um, it's like in nature, you guys can survive under the most difficult conditions. I mean, you are like sure-footed, um, like on, you know, as they say, the goat on the steep mountainsides. Um, you will eat anything and you can tolerate practically any weather. You know, they're just saying you're just so strong like the goat is. Um, let's see. You guys are very industrious. You're efficient. You're disciplined. Um, Capricorns, like, are really determined, you know, you guys are very determined, you're climbers, and you're naturally hard workers, you have, like, the outstanding characteristics, like, um, ambition, determinations, a resiliency, uh, you are persistent to overcome just about any setback, and you usually win because you refuse to quit. And when you are, like, knocked down, you bounce right back up again. I mean, that's the beauty of it. You guys rarely sit around and wait for things, like, to come to you. Um, you, like, decide what it is that you want, and then you go after it. You are willing to, like, wait as long as it takes, and you will do whatever necessary to reach your goals. Of course, unless it's unlawful or morally wrong. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking, you know, you guys usually have five year, 10 year, 20 year plans for the future already like in place. And you guys are like pretty much born executives. You are most comfortable when you are like the one who is in charge though. Uh, Capricorns feels naked and secure without a strong financial base though, which probably is the reason some, you know, give you guys the reputation of being materialistic. But um, you guys just, I'm telling you, Capricorns just know what they want and they get it. So <laughs> usually they're just very determined. You are cardinal sign too, so we can't ever underestimate that. You always initiate things. 
you know, you guys in relationships, basically, you're extremely passionate and you do long for attention. But you guys do have difficult expressing your true feelings, though. I know some people think Capricorns can be cold and icy. But deep down, you guys are really, really um, loving. You just keep it within. You don't show it as much. You show it in different ways. Um, basically, you guys thrive to have a family and a career. And that usually dominates most of your time. Uh, but you have sometimes this deep loneliness because you're just constantly making sure your family's taken care of, your career's on in check. So there's a sense of loneliness at times. Um, in fact, I think sometimes that Capricorns are the ones that really need a lot more love. I mean, people say you guys feel, you know, are really cool. I, I know you're Saturn ruled, so that's where that coolness comes from. But you're really extremely sensual. Um, you're very physically passionate. When you do let yourself go, sometimes there is a stoic sense to you guys, but when you do let yourself go, you can make a, a very warm and loving and affectionate lover. There is a comical, wonderful side to you guys. You could be the light of the party. And, you know, once you are committed in a relationship, you're in for the long haul. I mean, you guys really want to stick it out. And no one is more dependable or responsible than you guys are. I mean, you're very known for that. So I think wonder, um, Capricorns are really wonderful. We're really blessed. We could be taught a lot by you guys when it comes to um, all those steadfast um, and responsibilities and how you can deal with tedious situations that other signs sometimes can't. So thank you, Capricorns, for um, making the world brighter that way, for showing us that, those ways for being those uh, loving, responsible parents and and partners and and great business entrepreneurs too and and so forth. So that's about Capricorn. And I just wish you guys have a wonderful um, birthday month. Of course, you start off the new year, the calendar new year too. So I wish you the best in 2017 prosperity, love, light, and so forth. And um, I also do have a solar return reading if you guys would like one. Um, I have that for every day for anybody's birthday or if you know a Capricorn, you can surprise them with that. Um, I lowered the price for this week too, so it's pretty inexpensive. Anyway, um, guys, I just wish you all the best. May you have a magical year until until 2018 and beyond <laughs> so i hope this year definitely is your year and beyond okay capricorns enjoy bye